Hello. We'll be discussing today eTrax 2.5 System Administration. This is in continuation with our previous video, which is eTrax 2.5 Installation. If you have not seen that video yet, I suggest you check that out first before proceeding with this tutorial. Now, what we're going to do today is uh, the following activities. We register for the terminal, then we log in as the system account, then we'll try to complete the organization information. We'll generate terminal keys to be able to be accessed by the other clients. And then we add users and then we add roles. Now to start off, we launch first the server. So go to the directory where you ser save your server. So this is the directory last time here. So we launch the batch file here. Run back. Okay. So that's already activated. Then we'll go to the platform, open the platform here, then launch the platform. Now for the first time, since this is the first time that we're accessing the system, you, it will require you to re register a new terminal. So we'll click on next. So since we don't have a terminal yet, but uh, during the installation, we have uh, default terminal keys. So in this case, uh, the, the default one is T001. So that's a built-in terminal key. And you need to register as an SE so that we will know that this is the first system, the first client that's uh, registered, okay? Then click on Submit. So basically, uh, it will require you to do a username to provide your username and the password. So the initial password for the SA is this, bang, uh, exclamation point, one, two, three, four, then pound sign, okay? So the user account is SA, then pound, uh, exclamation point, one, two, three, four, then pound sign, then log in. Now, after successfully logging in, uh, it will prompt you to provide a more permanent password. So. You do this now type a permanent password so don't forget this because if you forget this we'll be the ones to reset the password okay so then you click on the change password so this will be your password as an SA user now normally the SA is uh, something like a root account so don't use that to log into the system use that as uh, just in case uh, you will have, um, uh, normally it's not a good practice to use the root account when accessing information. Instead, you will create an admin account and that, that account you will, be, uh, the, will be the one that you will be using. Okay, so before we proceed, we'll explain a little about the screen. 